Our next guest is a familiar face. For 15 years, Roxanne Battle was an award-winning reporter and anchor here at CARE 11. She left in 2006 to begin a new chapter of her life, literally. Recently, Roxanne added author to her list of accomplishments. Her poem memoir, Pockets of Joy, Deciding to be Happy, Choosing to be Free. Roxanne talks about her life in and away from television news and the difficult choices that she made to achieve work-life balance and happiness as a divorced single mom. It's my pleasure to welcome Roxanne Battle Morrison to the show. How Hi. fun is it to have you here? It feels How's it like feel walking back in it here. It feels like home. I recognize some faces and I don't recognize others. And you you renovated the place yeah, after I couch. left. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in a new but, backyard. You know, I don't, it just feels very familiar, actually. Yeah. And you, Patrick, seeing you again yeah. is just. We spent eight years together. We did. Right here in this space. And it's been nine years since you left to begin all these new adventures in your yes, life. Yes, yes. Uh, I know you so well. Yes. I thought I did. You're a private person. Yes. You keep your cards close. Yes. You have opened it up in this. Why now? Because I'm over it. I'm over it. It was a very difficult time in my life, you know, trying to, you know, a new job, a new baby, and then the divorce decree. There was a lot of pain, a lot of uh, things I had and to And that make. was a baby, baby. Baby. Dear was, was 11 months old when I got mm -hmm. a divorce. Um, and so that's a lot to handle. And you know that working television news is a very stressful job. Mm -hmm. And so trying to keep it together on camera and then go home and figure out this new life. And so that's why I was so private. That's why I played my cards close to my vest. And I think I wrote the book now because Jared just turned, he's 21. Yeah. And he's an adult. So technically his childhood is over. And I'm over that period of my life. I've mended those relationships and, and the, oh, remember that picture was I on do. my it's desk? I do, it's favorite picture. That yeah, photograph was years. on my desk right here at Carol 11 for years. Yeah. So, you know, I've, I've gone through lots of self introspection, um, lots of spiritual intro introspection. I know who I am and I'm happy with who I am. What got you there? You know, all of us have threads to our life and by that in mind, you know, being optimistic yep. and keeping a yep. smile on my face. Yep. These are things that I've yep. done all my life. For you, what's that thread? I write in the book about an experience, spiritual experience I had in church where this guy says, you are free to be who God made you to be and God will be with you. And what I realized at that point in time is that everything that made me a news reporter that allowed me to go out and do a live shot on the spot like that or produce a, an extra, something like that, that was, was, was innate, that was, it with, was in, within me, that mm -hmm. I was a natural born storyteller. Before I had the title of anchor and reporter and producer, I was a storyteller. And once I grabbed a hold of that moniker, I started writing plays for my church. I've done five full-scale original musicals. So all of that skill set stuff you brought to this. I started new blogging, life. Yeah. and I realized that's who I am. And when I grabbed a hold of that title, I'm a yeah. storyteller. The natural progression was the book. It wasn't easy walking away from this career, though. Oh, you gosh. put a lot into it. You yes. got yourself a master's cool. degree in journalism, and this was gut wrenching for it you. Was. And you talk about getting to that place. It was. It was. A, yeah. It was the most difficult decision of my life. Next to my divorce, yeah. I'm going through that. Leaving Care 11 was one of the most difficult things I've ever done. Yeah. And but it was the thing to do. And I talk, as you read, I talk about how I knew uncategorically yeah. that it was time to go. Well, clearly, what you done has brought you to this place now you really radiate uh, contentment and happiness you remarried happily yes, yes and you're very involved in the church yes speak and the word church all, international which is wonderful and yeah. that's going to be where you're going to celebrate the the debut of the book yes 5 15 15 <laughs> which is this friday at yeah. 5 15 in the afternoon at 515 Jersey <laughs> Avenue South. <laughs> That's a once in a lifetime date. Happy birthday. Thank you so much, Great Patrick. Great to see you. Great to All see you so much. You. Uh, Roxanne's book is available on Amazon.com. Her website, the official launch and book signing Friday, May 15th at 515. You just heard 515 Jersey Avenue in Golden Valley. To find additional details, go to care11.com. We'll be right back.